<laughs> so moving forward. So, Sean, I'm going to go to you next. We're going to keep the football talk going. Back their cap. Is this the year Mike Evans' 1K streak comes to an end? Oh, this is tough. Who's I'm going to – the, yeah, the quarterback, it's, it's between <laughs> Baker Mayfield and Kyle Trask Kyle right Trask. now. And it Good seems luck. like Kyle Trask is the leading candidate because let's not forget that Kyle Trask was a second-round pick a couple years ago. Uh, I'm going to say that Kyle Trask starts – Whoa. And that this is cap. This is not the year that Mike Evans' 1K streak ends. Mike Evans is a future Hall of Famer. First ballot. Mm-hmm. He, how long has this streak gone on? For like nine, nine seasons? Nine years. He's going to get it to double digits. He's going to get it to 10. This is cap. Mike Evans' streak <laughs> will not end this year. Even if it means Kyle Trask throwing him the ball on every single play, maybe sprinkling in a little bit, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans' 1K streak will continue. Just like Brandon Ayuk's. Oh, Had to. All right, Gary, I'm going to go to oh. you next. Fact or cap, is this the year Mike Evans' 1K streak comes to an end? I was about to say something wild. Brandon Ayuk doesn't even get to be wide receiver three on my team. Anyways, um, fact, this is fact. I just think they're going to have to just throw him the ball a day. I don't really know who else. Is Godwin still there? He's been injured two last few years. I just feel, yeah, so I feel like it's going to be pretty tough for them. This guy, anyone to throw the ball to him, it's pretty much because I don't really have any faith in their quarterback situation like we already talked about. So I would hope that basically they just get to throw him all the balls all day and hopefully, you know, he's a big talent, you know, a great wide receiver. So I feel like he's going to do some magical things. And uh, he's going to – they got to throw the ball to somebody, so I think he's going to be the man. He's going to be able to get this again. So hopefully he does because he's right on the edge, and that's a great achievement as a wide receiver. So that would be really cool. I don't know how many guys have really done this before, to be honest with you. So I'm pretty sure it's not that many, especially because – Jerry Rice. Yeah, Only doing it for that long. It. Only want to do it. So yeah, for this long. So that's you know credit to him. So hopefully he can just he can peel. He got think about it too. Before he only had time for what three years, four years. So before he was already doing that. But whatever quarterback they had like a carousel of quarterbacks before that. So he's Davis. done it exactly. He's done it with the quarterbacks that are not as high level as Tom. So I feel like, and he's a veteran guy. You know, he's you know he's still smart. He still has. I know he's been maybe a little bit injured. He was a little bit injured last year, I believe, for a couple of weeks. But overall, I feel like he's been pretty uh, consistently been there. So I feel like Mike Evans for sure can get this. Uh, this streak will not end. So cap. All right, Toddy, I'm gonna go to you next. Factor cap. This is the year Mike Evans' one K streak comes to an end. I'm gonna say cap. I mean, he's playing with guys like Josh McCown, Mike Glenn, and. Jameis Winston, Fitz Magic, baby, and you know, obviously Tom Brady helped these last couple of years. So I mean, he's done it before with just, you know, guys that throw 30 picks in season. So he went 30 for 30, like Jameis wants to say. He said if you look at the numbers, I'm balling. Like the balling. <laughs> so um no, I think Mike Evans, he's gonna figure out a way to scrape out a thousand yards out of his ass because he does have <laughs> it, it looks pretty bad right now at the quarterback position, albeit Baker Mayfield was the number one pick a few years ago. Um, and Kyle Trask is another guy that, you know, is another guy pretty much. Um, Baker Mayfield was kind of quoted in practice uh, earlier this week and said that he's never played with a guy like Mike Evans. So um, this would be the best receiver that he's ever had. I think Baker's probably going to end up starting. So um, I think the Bucks are probably going to be one of the worst teams in the league kind of like a sleeper team to get Caleb Williams uh, next year. So this could be um, a year that maybe would be a potential for Mike Evans to not get a thousand yards just because of, you know, obviously the quarterback play is not where it was with obviously having Tom Brady. But I mean, Baker uh, also said that he's not that guy when it comes to when he asked about replacing Tom Brady. So um, there's obviously a dip off in quarterback play between Brady and Baker, but I feel like Mike Evans is going to figure out a way to get a thousand yards because he's going to be the number one guy. He's going to see double coverage and stand the third. So I feel like he's going to be the number one, one option on most plays this year. I just so hope. This, what was that real, real quick, I was going to say real quick. I just really hope Baker Mayfield is not pulling the Johnny Manziel thing that they said this week that he didn't watch no tape or something like that. I hope my I guy. Is not pulling those number one pick party animals thing that you know he did. So hopefully my guy is watching some tape. 
So this one I went back and forth with. So this is the year Mike Evans 1K streak comes to in factor cap. If he stays in a Buccaneers jersey, I'm going to say this is a fact. Uh, we talked about Gary or not Gary, uh, Kyle Trask. We talked about Baker Mayfield. Those guys really just haven't shown a lot to really get a guy of this caliber, his weapons and his touches. So there's a guy in New York just freed up 35 mil. Dalvin Cook might not be going, you know, a trade deadline move, and Mike Evans can get over here with Tom – or not Tom Brady, with Aaron Rodgers. I can think him definitely getting that. So if he's outside of a Buccaneers uniform, I say this is Cap. He's going to continue his 1K streak. But if he stays with the Bucs, I think this might be a fact just due to the poor quarterbacks.